I'm Danny Sumno too, and welcome to Las Vegas. Today we are traveling on an epic journey, going from the glitz and the glamour of Vegas to the awe-inspiring beauty of the Grand Canyon, and I'm gonna show you a few really cool things along the way. I'm gonna be your tour guide on the must-see pit stops on this legendary road trip to the Grand Canyon South Rim. While the drive itself takes about four hours, there are some hidden gems along the way that you absolutely need to check out. There are quite a few worthwhile stops, but I'm gonna pick a handful of the top spots to take you. So buckle up because we've got about a four hour drive, but we've also got some cool places to show you on the way. Our first stop is a true marvel of engineering, the Hoover Dam. Just a short drive from Las Vegas is this iconic structure that spans the Colorado River and offers stunning views. There is now a bypass road so you don't have to drive through the dam anymore, but I would highly recommend pulling over even if it's just to walk the Memorial Bridge and the Overlook, which there is free parking, there are bathrooms, and it is a very quick walk from the parking spot. But it is a very incredible sight to see. It's not for everyone though. If you're afraid of heights, I'd say beware. There are some really cool, quirky spots in Boulder City like Tom Devlin's Monster Museum. We have a railroad museum. There's a whole historical street full of relics. I've taken you guys there before. I'm always super shaky when I get up here at first. It is so far down. But there it is, the marvelous Hoover Dam. And the morning is the time to come. It's so peaceful up here. We do have the freeway or the bypass right behind us, which can get a little bit intimidating with all the cars rushing by. But look, there's nobody up here right now. They do have a marker showing where exactly the state line is on the bridge. Here, the Hoover Dam Bypass Protect Nevada Arizona state line. Incredible, right? Definitely a must stop. There are multiple ways of getting to the Grand Canyon. As you can see, there's multiple tour buses here. Looks like a tour van even. So they do make some stops along the way. You can even do it by helicopter. Welcome to Arizona. Here we go, the Grand Canyon State. As we continue our journey, don't miss the opportunity to drive a stretch of the historic Route 66. Kingman, Arizona is a charming town along the way, filled with classic diners, vintage shops, and Route 66 memorabilia. Kingman, Arizona is an absolute gem for history enthusiasts. From its humble beginnings as a small train stop to becoming an iconic stop along the historic Route 66, Kingman still continues to be a hub of culture and historical significance in Mojave County. A couple of brochures on what you can do here in Kingman. They definitely have a couple of really great museums. This is the Kingman Welcome Center Flash Museum. Had to sign the Kingman Visitor Center Guest Register. Eddie and Danny from Las Vegas. The destination, Grand Canyon. <gasps> oh my God, I'm sold on this. <laughs> from Las Vegas to Kingman to Grand Canyon. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do this. Yes! Oh, that's so cool. So there we were. This is where we are now. And this is where we're heading. They have such cool signs and photo spots all around Kingman. I love this one here. So showing Chicago, which is typically where Route 66 starts, and then Los Angeles right under it, which is where Route 66 ends, and then all the different cities that you would hit. Now there are a few notable spots in town, especially some really cool historic motels to stay at or just to stop and all at their historic signs. But I had to stop at Mr. D's Route 66 Diner. This is a classic American diner that captures the nostalgia charm of the 1950s and 1960s. Mr. D's is famous for their retro decor with neon signs, checkered board floors, vintage its jukeboxes and their classic diner booths. The interior is designed to transport visitors back in time to the heyday of Route 66. Now this spot is open from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. so it's a great stop for breakfast or even a late dinner. Mr. D's is considered a landmark among Route 66, making it a popular stop for travelers and tourists exploring this historic highway. Quite a few different options for breakfast. I do. But then it is a classic diner, so they've got things like burgers and sandwiches and patty melts, and of course the milkshake. Look, 
That one has a donut in it. That one has a cake in it. As our food has arrived, here is Eddie's meal. He got the blue cheese burger. There's a hearty slice of blue cheese on there. And oh wow, look at that bacon too. <laughs> we didn't see that creeping out on the other side. Avocado, that looks really good. I went with a mac and cheese hot dog and it also has a bit of bacon pieces on top of it. The bread is like amazing. Not a normal hot dog bun. It's a little hard to eat, a little messy at least. You can tell that my fries ended up turning into mac and cheese fries, but the fries too are super good, super crispy. We should continue on Route 66 to our next stop, but we're gonna cheat a little bit and get back on the bypass. And our next stop meets back up with Route 66 at Seligman, Arizona. This quirky town feels like a blast from the past. Its colorful buildings and retro signs make for great photo ops. And this is an easy stop to get to from Route 40 if you do jump back on the freeway. And then all the shops and cafes sit on a small stretch of road. So basically you can just park and enjoy a walk down memory lane, quite literally. This town is also a huge inspiration for the Disney Pixar movie Cars. And I have never been here, but this might be the spot I was looking forward to most about checking out along our drive. This building here is just amazing. <laughs> the front side of this, it just looks so freaking cool. It's nuts how this used to be the way to get from Arizona to Nevada. And it used to be full of people, full of travelers and tourists. Another gift shop here. It looks like this used to be a gas station though. These rooms look super, super old, but it does have free Wi-Fi and free coffee. Hey, some of these got a one up on Vegas. So this is the barber shop slash gift shop slash visitor center. So in 1978, Seligman is bypassed by the Interstate 40 and the town loses its considerable tourist business in one day. Angel here is basically a founder of Seligman and this area of Route 66 or this part of Route 66. But over here, this is the historic Angel's Barber Shop where he used to cut hair. It is so freaking retro in here. So it states here that Angel has retired at the age of 95. 95, that is amazing. I hear the place to stop when you come here is the famous snow cap drive-in. If you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know that I definitely have a total sweet tooth and here they have shakes and malts that I hear are a must. And if I read right, the owner of this place was also the brother of Angel, who was the barber next door. Here are the different shake flavors that you can get. There are so many, it's hard to choose from. I ended up going with marshmallow. Eddie is doing a snow cone, world record holder for largest display of milkshake varieties. Did they have a date shake though? Achievement unlocked, we got our shake or our dessert from Snowcap here in Seligman, Arizona. Our next stop takes us to Williams, Arizona, which is often called the gateway to the Grand Canyon. As we were driving through, there was a cute little downtown area or Main Street area, but I wanted to add a little bit of adventure and excitement to this journey. So we are here at the Canyon Coaster Adventure, where you might see behind me, there is a mountain coaster ride. I have never done one of these and I have always wanted to do one of these. I just had to add this to our stop. The Canyon Adventure Park also has tubing, so you can get on an inner tube and go down the mountain way, but this, this is what I've been wanting to do. This $20 a rider, you can ride single or you can ride double. Make sure you go right down.
sweet. From the Canyon Adventure Park to Grand Canyon, we got one hour left. One hour and seven minutes. So pretty much every stop we've done was about an hour. So Hoover Dam, a little under an hour from Las Vegas. Next stop was about an hour. We paced this out pretty good, and I think we're gonna get to the Grand Canyon for sunset as well. Here we are at the entrance to the Grand Canyon National Park. Looks like it's gonna be $35 for the vehicle today. We pulled up and parked at exactly five o'clock. So we've been driving for quite a while. I think we started eight hours ago, a little more than eight hours ago in Las Vegas, and we made it to the South Rim. There are different access points like the West Rim and so forth, but the South Rim itself is so large that there's even shuttle buses that take you from certain points. I think I even saw there was a bookstore over here. There are like little villages and shops, as you can see, places to rent a bike or two or three or a couple hundred. I have never been to the Grand Canyon. This is my very first time somehow, even though I've lived in the West nearly my whole life, besides from three years in Orlando. This first area we are in is called Mathers Point. And our first look at the Grand Canyon, holy crud. This is pretty incredible. Wow. Such a rewarding treat after the long drive to end with such a beautiful view. You can go to the Grand Canyon West Rim, which is much closer to Las Vegas than the South Rim. I believe it's about a two hour drive. And in that area, that's where they have the Skywalk or the Sky Bridge, but that's gonna cost you so much more per person to visit. I have heard that the views over at the South Rim are much more stunning and worth the drive, especially if you make those stops that I showed you and they're so much more along the way. I had to really pick and choose what I wanted to stop at today and definitely made for a good adventure. We did it guys. The Grand Canyon South Rim. Only took about eight hours, but we're here. <laughs> it's about a four hour drive if you don't make all the stops, but you should make all the stops. From the glitz of Las Vegas to the natural wonder of the Grand Canyon, this journey was filled with so much adventure, good food, history, nostalgia, and of course, beauty. Thanks so much for joining us on this incredible trip. I hope you guys got a good glimpse of what the road trip is like, a few great places to stop, and then to end it with this amazing view. It's like a reward, a treat on top of the treat. We're still gonna explore a little more, but I think I'm gonna leave you guys right here. <laughs> it's getting a little cold and starting to shake a bit. The camera's getting a little bit shaky. My nose is starting to get a little bit stuffed up, but thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, please subscribe for more adventures in Las Vegas and the surrounding areas, and we will catch you in the next one.